So they say this is the ultimate hack. In my opinion, I haven't noticed a difference, but if I do see a difference, because I have to be honest, it's my second time doing it consistently, I'll let you know. For now, let's talk about the five habits that I'm actually sticking to. I see you talking over there, there, trying not to stare, but you like what you see. The actual real habits, well, I guess two first ones are working out and journaling. But wait. First of all, I've never been the person that used to enjoy working out or that when somebody talked about journaling, I was like, yeah, let's do that. That was never me. Yet something happened. There was just one moment where it clicked where I wanted to do it, where I felt better doing it, where the days when I wasn't doing it, I felt like I was missing out on something. And of course, that doesn't mean that every day I want to work out and I get up and I'm like, let's go to the gym. I have those days where I'm not motivated, where I'm like, no, please, I don't need to go. And then once I get there, the feeling afterwards is so much better but it hasn't always been easy the way i make it to the gym and i get that notebook out and i basically pull myself and motivate myself to do it is by following the technique that they share in atomic habits basically pairing something that you already do that's like a given with a new habit that you're adding on so first of all i pair the journaling to the fitness but not only that i pair the fitness to getting up and getting ready. I know every day I have to get up and I have to get ready. So if I get up and the first thing I do is put on my workout outfit before getting ready, before thinking about where I'm even going, well, I'm already in my workout outfit and most likely I'm going to end up working out before actually getting ready for the day. been paid workout complete pair it with journaling and now officially time to get ready get the day started today we're working outside so come on we made it and the rest of our morning is continuing here it started off with a body scrub so body scrub check and then the rest of the day is pretty much going to be jumping around from the different installations that they have here on the spa as I continue to share the rest of the habits. Now, for habit number three, something that's really, really important and I think something that has completely impacted my life so far and I'm going to continue to be doing it and that's calendar blocking. And I can definitely show you what that actually looks like on my calendar in just a second but it's basically that it's creating different calendars inside of a huge calendar that basically houses everything that you do look at this cool rooftop this is amazing so basically inside my calendar i'll have the agency stuff i'll have personal stuff i'll have my growing and my learning calendar i have my finance calendar i have my youtube calendar and all of that I do on Google Calendar. I separate it by color, like color code it. And putting everything inside there just makes a huge difference. Not only hello to be organized, but also to see like what areas I'm focusing more on and what areas I should maybe add more stuff in. It really gives you like that big picture. And trust me, I'm not your usual planner. Like I was never that person that liked having my full week, my month ahead, like knowing what I'm going to do. No, I'm still not that person. Like I honestly don't know where we're going to be next month, but it's the task, like the daily actions that I love having inside there. And that's a habit that helps you stay on track and that actually helps you commit to your goals. This is actually something that I learned inside the book, the 12 week year, where you decide your main goal instead of going by a full year, you go by 12 weeks. So a big goal inside those 12 weeks. Then what you'll do is start breaking it down by weeks so that you have something to track as you go along. 
that's mostly where I got the idea from and incorporating it into my own sound using the Google calendars has been such a game changer. is the actual tracking of finances, which has built up this habit all in one that has absolutely transformed my personal finances. So it's like tracking and setting goals and also using the right accounts that allow you to separate and be able to track these goals even easier. This is what I mean. What I mean is obviously starting by tracking. You can't improve or get better at something if you don't track it. So number one, tracking your income, your financials, and this I've done with the Mint application. Now, second thing, setting the goals. So you set the goals, but how are you actually tracking your finances to make sure that you're actually hitting that goal? That's where the banks come in, but I need to get on the scooter because Gabe, is gonna leave me, so hold on. And staying on top of your finances, if you have your goal mixed in with all the other stuff happening in your bank account, well, the reality is it's not that easy. But if you make a separate account, let's say you're saving up to buy a home, let's say you're saving up for your next trip, well, you have that separate bank account and every time you check, you know exactly where you're at and how much you need in order to reach that goal. For business, I love doing it with Relay Bank and for my personal, I love using Capital One. Both are online banks, completely free to use, and you can create many accounts, making it super easy to have one for each goal, and you're good to go. And trust me, all these things aren't things that just come to my head from who knows where. It's from this, and it has to be habit number five, which is learning. My way of learning is through reading. Yours can be through podcasts, through videos. There are so many different ways, but it's that constant allowing yourself to learn new things. Like the beginning, the first habits, that pairing solution, that's from Atomic Habits. But then the next part about blocking your calendar and breaking it down to weekly tasks, I got that from the 12 week yearbook, like I mentioned. Allocating money in different buckets, that's from Profit First. And so on, I think the learning never stops. And that's why this is for sure a habit that I'm keeping with me and that I'm going to continue. Right now, I'm currently reading The Joy of Business and obviously I don't incorporate every single thing that I learn from books because that would be nearly impossible and also super overwhelming. That's not the case. It's getting what you do like, what you are interested in, what you do think is going to work and incorporating. That's also why every week inside the newsletter, I share a book recommendation of the week. Hint, hint, if you're not signed up, you're missing out. Better listen up, we about to make it happen.